Today we get to learn about dependency injection. Hey, do me a favor, like and subscribe. I'm almost done with that flight operations ticket. You just pass it a concrete aircraft and it configures all the flight operations. Awesome. Uh -huh. Not so fast, nerds. Circle back, Jack, what are you doing here? Customer just emailed me and they said that they need to accept a helicopter as well as an airplane into that flight plan software. You're gonna have to change everything. Circle back with me tomorrow when it's done. Hey, don't lose too much sleep on this. I'll help you out with it tomorrow. <laughs> The 2 a.m. movie will be right back after these words from our sponsors. Are you sick of refactoring your code every time someone makes a change? Well, come on down to Dependency Injection. Just set up an interface on the constructor and pass in anything. Big classes, small classes, old classes, new classes, crazy classes. Dependency Injection is your one-stop shop for all of your decoupling needs. Dependency Injection, Dependency Injection, Dependency Injection. Because passing concrete classes is insane. Now you're probably gonna get asked an interview question about dependency injection. Don't panic, it's not as complex as you think. Despite all the big words, all you're really doing is passing interfaces instead of concrete classes. Now there's property injection and there's method injection, but we're gonna focus on constructor injection because usually in an interview question, that's the topic they wanna know about. So let's see why Posh Ryan was so upset. So Posh Ryan was working on this flight operations class. This flight operations class takes an aircraft class and it performs some flight operations on it, like uh, display the aircraft ID, the type, where it's departing and where it's going. So if we take a look at the actual aircraft class, there's really nothing special here. You have an aircraft with properties of destination departing aircraft ID, aircraft type, which is going to be a string here in this case, and uh, a constructor to make this. Now, when we actually do our program, we create an aircraft. In this case, it's going to be Boeing. It's going to go from BWI to DCA. Its call sign is 123. Uh, we're going to plug this into flight operations, and then we're going to perform our flight operations. So let's run this and see what happens. Okay, hello world. Aircraft 123, which is an airplane. It's departing DCA. Its destination is BWI. Okay, so everything works. Why do you need to use injection? Let me show you. Let's say you want flight operations to also accept helicopters. You're gonna have to create a helicopter class. And we did that, helicopter, helicopter. And then over in flight operations, now what the heck do you do? I, I guess you could, you could create another constructor, copy, paste, and then make this helicopter. But because a helicopter isn't an aircraft, now you gotta create copy, paste and go helicopter and you got a copy whenever you start cutting and pasting all over the place that's your first sign that maybe you shouldn't be doing what you're doing so let's see how we can do this with dependency injection first we need to create an i aircraft this is going to be our interface that anything flying is going to derive from next we're going to create two concrete classes one is fixed wing which is a regular plane looking plane and the other is a helicopter they both inherit from I aircraft. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a better flight operations class. And under the constructor, I'm going to pass it I aircraft instead of a concrete aircraft. And then up here, I'm going to have a private field of type I aircraft that's going to grab the aircraft that we pass in. Okay, now let's see this in action. So here I have I aircraft Airbus. It's going to create a new fixed wing. It's going from EWR Newark to Philadelphia. I'm going to take this Airbus and I'm going to throw it into better flight operations. And then I'm going to perform better flight operations on that airplane. And here I have Sikorsky coming from my aircraft and I'm going to say new helicopter. And this helicopter is going to go from BWI uh, to DCA and its call sign is 456. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to throw the Sikorsky into uh BFO helicopter, better flight operations for helicopter, and perform the flight operations. Let's see what happens. Okay, so aircraft 123, which was a fixed wing, departed PHL, destination Newark. Aircraft 456 was a helicopter, departed DCA, and its destination was BWI. Here's what's so cool about this. 
they both use the same constructor, better flight operations. Better flight operations just has to worry about getting past some kind of aircraft. It doesn't have to worry about the type of aircraft or whatever. You've totally decoupled your code from the kind of aircraft you're dealing with. Now you're probably thinking, wait a minute, Ryan, helicopters and airplanes are different because they're probably different kinds of inspection criteria or rules for flight hours and things like that. Well, so what? Just take an interface and drop it into the iAircraft interface. So now I create an interface called I inspection criteria and then create a concrete inspection criteria for your particular kind of aircraft and then load that up when you create your concrete aircraft or helicopter implementation. Flight operations doesn't care, nor should it. See, dependency injection is really useful and not that hard to understand. So if you're ever asked what is dependency injection, dependency injection allows you to decouple code by passing interfaces as parameters instead of concrete classes. That's it. Good luck on your next interview.